my name is Dave Hartel. I work for Premier Oil in uh, London. I'm the senior development manager for the Sea Lion project. We uh, just entered the define phase, which in, uh, in, in includes starting feed with our four uh, main facilities contractors. Um, and we hope to take a sanctioned decision in 2017. Uh, a key thing we talk about is finding value. Uh, you're having to do some different kind of things, do projects in different ways with our contractors in a slightly different contracting strategy. We're working with our four contractors in the defined phase, so we're doing feed together, working collaboratively. So that's something different uh, as a result of the low oil price environment. So what we're doing by having our four contractors, that's the FPSO contractor, the subsea installation contractor, the flexibles contractor, and the subsea equipment, they have certain interfaces. So the flow assurance goes over from the subsurface through the subsea up to the, the deck of the FPSO. So getting that working collaboratively uh, should help my uh, flow assurance, should help my controls, help us try to uh, have the right kind of kit to operate this. Um, and so the collaborative working um, is, is meant to find some synergy. So not just guys working on their own in their own individual contracts. Um, so we've kicked off uh, something we call partnership culture. So we're having a, at an executive level, um, working with the executives of these four contractors. We uh, working to have a set of economics for the project so that everybody understands where their place is and then how the changes we make over the course of feed can help us improve our chances of having a positive sanction decision. Yeah, you know, uh, people kind of joke about that a little bit. They say, well, what happens if oil price blips up a bit? And I say, well, you actually shouldn't change what you do because if we can work collaboratively and find savings, that just means at a higher oil price, you have the ability to make uh, uh, increased uh, financial returns. So um, for a company our size, this is, uh, if we can get this to work, this is something that uh, we want to keep doing. So my presentation, I'm going to talk about that actually in the low oil price environment, if you believe that it's eventually going to go back up some amount, then now's not a bad time. Now's a good time. I can get the front end engineering design done. I can get my pricing in a, in a good price environment from my suppliers and my fab yards and shipyards and be ready to take a sanction decision as we see the, the oil pricing start to, start to react. So it's a, it's a good time. And uh, working with the contractors we have, I got four world-class contractors and it's, a, it's an opportunity to um, um, try to do something a little bit different. So it's a good time to start. You have to do stuff different. You know, uh, Albert Einstein is famously quoted as saying the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over and expect a different outcome. So if you're trying to get a project to succeed in a low oil price environment, you better do some different things. That ranges from contracting strategy to the people in your teams to how you work with your contractors and the contractors view themselves. You know, but one purpose of sharing the economics is to show people that there isn't some magic pot of money to go help themselves to contingency or change orders or things like that. You know, we're working all together to reduce the break-even price of oil on the project to improve our chance of sanctioning. So, you know, you have to do it differently. It's interesting, uh, Singapore is, is closer to where the actual uh, execution often takes place. Uh, the, uh, some of the engineering, certainly the uh, work on the, on the hull, the work on the top sides. So it was good to get that kind of perspective in Singapore from the people that would attend. Those are guys closer to the execution phase. Um, London, uh, a lot of, uh, of oil company clients are in London, so you've got to, you do a lot more front-end engineering type work up here. Um, but there's, a, there's quite a strong similarity though. The, we had about 600 people in Singapore here. We've had 235 plus kind of people. Both places, people are very committed to what do they got to do to uh, try to bring more value to the projects. How, how can we work together? So that's been the same on both sides of the world, that kind of attitude, real positive attitude. So, um, you know, I'd like to get a little more engagement from uh, a few more operators here in London. Um, 
to see how there's suppliers, sub-suppliers, subcontractors, and contractors that have a very strong interest in making this succeed. Well, let's engage with them and, and see if we can um, all work in together be successful. Um, the, the, the industry is challenged by the cash flow from the current projects. That's how generally the market works. Your existing projects, you get cash flow from them to pay for your work to get ready for the subsequent ones. So obviously in a low oil price environment, everybody's having to tighten their budgets and that's, uh, that makes it tough to keep doing the work we need for the next round.